Here we go. Go ahead. Well, I'm from Iran, uh, born and raised, and uh, 12 years ago, I came to know the Lord. Amen. Uh, but Iran has been under oppression for like, almost uh, for 40 years. Now, this year, this coming year, the 40 years is complete. And in the Bible, the number 40 is the number of completion of a period. Like, you know, 40 years in the wilderness, the, the, the Israelites, and then 40 days of rain uh, when the Noah's uh, uh, Jesus was in the world. So this Iranian regime has been in power for 40 years. And the 40th year is this year, this coming year. So what's happening uh, on March 2nd, 2017, uh, the 2nd of March of uh, the last year, the Lord spoke to me that the regime is going to fall. And at that time, people were very optimistic about the Rouhani, the new president. And he was a reformer. They thought he's going to bring change and he's going to economically help. And then uh, Obama was thinking, you know, that he's going to make the deal with Iran, give them billions of dollars, lift the sanctions, and it's going to help the people. And nothing changed. Mm -hmm. So people were so frustrated. And um, now they have nothing to lose. They're so economically, they're down and yeah. oppressed. And a woman can go to jail and beaten. Just because a little bit the hair is out of the scarf, like if you don't have the proper hijab. So the regime has been oppressing people, executions, oppression, they cut the internet. Yeah. Yeah. And then what's yeah. happening yeah. right now, you know, Iran had a significant role in the biblical events. Like, for example, Cyrus the Great, yes. he was the one who helped the Jews to come back from... I bet who, in captivity, who's Cyrus captivity, right now? Yeah, in captivity of Babylon. Yes. Yes. Cyrus. Yes. Cyrus. He's from the same city I'm from. Okay. Wow. Yeah, his, his, uh, wow. his palace Amazing. is like you know, one hour from where I was born. Yeah. So uh, then King Darius, you know, Daniel. Yes. Right. And then Amen. we have yes. Artaxerxes, Xerxes, Esther's husband. So all these big kings, they helped the Jews in their own time. And uh, so I believe Iran, God is, you know, uh, taking back Iran that the devil was using for his own purpose. Yes. Now God is using it. So on March the 2nd, 2017, God spoke to me that the regime is going to fall. And I wrote that on my Facebook. I said the regime is going to fall on March the uh, 2nd. I wrote that. It's wow. still there. And, um, and somebody else commented on that post that he also was from Iran. He was in Iran, actually. He was a believer. He said he also had a dream that the Lord had given an opportunity to the uh, leader, but he has rejected it. Oh, wow. And uh, so their days are numbered. And then what happened was, um, two weeks ago, I was praying in the church and the Lord spoke to me, the Holy Spirit told me to repent on behalf of the nation. Just like Daniel did in Daniel chapter 9, Daniel began to pray on behalf of Israel. When you read the Torah, when you read the book of Jeremiah, yeah. then he said, Lord, forgive us for breaking the law of Moses, forgive us for breaking the covenant, forgive us for worshiping idols. And he repented and then, uh, 21, uh, yeah, three weeks later, the angel appeared to me and said, Daniel, the beloved of the Lord, the day you prayed, the Lord sent me to, Amen. to speak yeah. to you. But the prince of Persia withstood me. The prince of Persia. The same prince that is taking over Iran, yeah. prince of Persia. Yeah. So then it said that Michael came and helped me. Michael is the angel that protects Israel. Yes. It's amazing because today we are Israel. We are the, we are the true Jews, you know, from the heart, circumcised in the heart. So what ha what's happening is that we are the Michael, we are somehow symbolically are helping Gabriel to go take the message into Iran. So yes. and the regime is going to fall. So the Lord spoke to me to pray for a good new government um, that would yes. be, you know. And, and in 1979, when the revolution happened and yes. Shah left, yes. Iran became very radicalized. You know, yeah. Muslims took power yes. and it impacted the whole region, it impacted Egypt, you know. Terrorism came to Egypt, mm -hmm. Taliban, and then uh, Hamas, Hezbollah, yeah. Syria. Now, oh, when, the, right. when the regime falls, it came then, out of Iran. Yeah. 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 These are the proxies. Like yeah. Dynamo. So, you're, you're cutting, animal. yeah. If the Iranian regime, if the Islamic regime in Iran dies, it's like cutting the head of the snake. And then the rest dies. So, what's happening is that, and like millions of Iranians come to the Lord, they see the Lord in dreams and visions, and they're crying out to God. So I believe that this is the beginning of an end, this uprising. So we're praying for Iranians, pray for boldness, for protection, yes. that no weapon formed against them shall prosper. Amen. That the government has used no deception, that this regime be confused, yes. and they would fall, and they would, you know, the regime would go against itself, and they would fall. Amen. Amen. And, uh, pray for, yeah, for, for strength and boldness Amen. for people. Yes. So um, it's inevitable. You know, it's going to happen. The regime is going to fall. And, uh, and imagine... 
a lot of Iranians have been outside of Iran for years, and many of them have come to Christ. And in Jeremiah 49, verse 35 through the end, there's a prophecy about Iran. And God says that the evil will reign in Iran. I will bring four winds from the four corners of the earth against Iran. And it says, uh, I will send a sword after them. There shall be no nation where the outcasts of Iran will not go. But it says, in the last days, I will destroy the kings and princes from them. Yes. I will establish my throne. Yes. And I will restore the captives of Iran. Amen. So imagine all these believers that have been outside. When did they go back into Iran? They're gonna, they're gonna take the gospel. I believe one day the Iranians will take the gospel to Egypt, to Turkey, to Afghanistan, to Tajikistan, to Pakistan. The Iranians will take the gospel to other countries because Persians have a militant spirit, they have a boldness. So I believe they will uh, impact the Middle East for good. They will become friends with Israel. Yes. And, uh, and these are the things prophesied. So Iran is changing for good. So we pray for the people are protesting. Yes. And uh, pray that Islam be exposed, that the plans of the enemy be exposed. Yes. That God's plan will come to pass. Amen. Just, just say the last word. Please keep <coughs> Iran in your prayer. Amen. And please keep Iran in your prayers. Yes. It's very crucial times. And uh, God is changing that nation for good. And uh, pray for the protesters. Pray for the people who are uh, uh, protesting on the streets for protection. Keep for the so spirit. please keep Iran in your prayers and, uh, and support Lord. Iran. God is doing a mighty work. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord, for bringing us together, Lord. Um, yes. yes, we need, really need to pray for Iran because they are going through the revolutionary period of their time right now. The Lord is taking control of the um, um, country for his own good, for the people. Yes, Please keep them uh, in your prayer. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.